Today we have the original footwork master. Before there was Manny Pacquiao, before there was Vasily Lomachenko. This guy paved the way for all those people with his amazing footwork. Former bantamweight champion of the world, the one, the only Orlando Canizales is joining us. Let's do this. Hey, Eric. Hi. <laughs> Right. How you doing, champ? Yeah, pretty good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? To the champ and the chump. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Mr. Jeremy Williams, uh, former. He fought uh, in, in your era as well, right? Same time you... Yeah, I remember. I remember him. A little bit. I remember him. Yeah. Everybody remembers me. They're trying to figure out who you are. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so. Yeah. Jeremy, what'd you say? You cut out. I said, are you in Texas? Where are you living these days? Yeah, I live in Texas. I live in South South Texas, close to San Antonio. And that's that's where you grew up? In Laredo. Yeah, yeah I born and raised, born and raised here. I still live here. Wow. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If there's any fighters that you guys want us to interview, old school, new school, whatever, let us know, because we're here for you guys. We'll make it happen. Now, just please take a quick second to subscribe and like hmm, it's pretty impressive Peace. okay um what so let's start off i guess what was your amateur background how many amateur fights did you have i had a uh, hundred 120 amateur fights i won 108 and lost 12. that's great wow that's a great record mm. And yeah, I mean, I never, I never won any national titles or anything like that. I, I just won the like one, well, a state champion, and I, I made it in the. I think it was nineteen eighty two. I made it to the no in nineteen eighty three. I made it to the. I lost in the semifinals in the national Golden gloves. Who who champion that year? Who who made who won the title? Um, uh, I don't remember his name. Oh, he didn't go. On. But yeah, I mean, he, yeah, well, he won. He won the. He won the the, the tournament that that year. Yeah, but did he go on to be a professional fighter? Uh, no, no, no. Mm. No, he didn't. Okay. Um, and were you as an amateur? Were you uh, still one fifteen? I know one. Um, actually, that was one twelve. I, I showed one one oh six and then one twelve flyweight. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the the one twelve guy. I'm sorry, the one oh six guy. In my, I was I'm in the nineties, the nineties team. Man, the the, the guy one oh six was the one of the baddest dudes on our team. Little black dude, Eric. Mm -hmm. Oh, Eric Griffin. You, oh yeah, I remember him. Yeah, I mean he can fight. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you, so for your career, you, you mostly fought at one fifteen, right? And then you went up to to junior feather, right? Uh, actually, I, I fought at 112. I fought uh, uh, Paul Gonzalez for the North American title at, at, in fly, at flyweight. And then I moved up to 115 and then to eventually when I stayed at 118. That's where I won the IBF title at 118. 118. So for people watching, um, you, you're, you're a very special fighter for the reason that your, your footwork and your angles were some, was something that no that we hadn't seen before i mean the closest i would say and i don't and tell me from if you actually took looked up to this guy was willie pep did you look up to him at all because no no that was that was before i mean that was i wasn't even born I didn't think sure but no but i never but i mean just like watching his videos and stuff did you ever like study him and, and or no? no no never never have no wow um you know her yeah. angles and uh, reminds me a lot of pacquiao pacquiao had similar angles right you know, um, right. yeah, no, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was something amazing to watch. And, you know, <laughs> you had a lot of power for a smaller guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot, of, a lot of people ask me, where, where'd you learn that? And I said, no, well, I mean, it's, I mean, I just, uh, you know, it wasn't just natural. It was natural. I mean, I, I practiced in the gym. I, you know, it, it was just like, you know, it came out natural. And then, like we said, I, I, when, when I spar and when I train, I would, you know, move around and do pivots and side, I do, you know, the side angle, I mean, side step and angles and that. And when I, when I spar, I would also do it. And then when I, when I fight, it would come out natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, practice what you preach, right? Once you, you do it in the gym, hopefully you can translate it into the fight. 
Right, right, yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, I practice. I practice every day and at the gym, and you know, I, I would I would train six days out of the you know six days out of the week. So, <clears throat> and I would practice that. So, and that's uh, that's uh, you know, it came out natural. Like you know, nobody taught me or anything like that. I never saw anybody do that because I mean, you know, my my back then my favorite fighters was Ali, Muhammad Ali, Sherry Leonard, and Robert Duran, and those were the guys that my idols wow. growing up. What uh, was boxing a love or was it a like? Um, was it both? I guess you know. I mean, I, I at first it was. I mean, when I started at the age of ten, I mean, oh. at the age of ten, you're you know, you know wow. you're a little kid, you know, and just. Uh, but then I I grew and I said, wait, well, hey, you know, want you know, I'm gonna continue and one day um uh, be a world champion. And so, and that was my goal. So I mean, I I, I it returned to. I mean, it was boxing, you know, day and night. I mean, it was that's all. I mean, I was I dedicated myself to the sport and and had discipline and uh, you know because I I really wanted to be get there, be the best, you know, be a world champion. An interesting fact that people may not know: you have a brother who was also world champion at the same time you were, right? Right, right, yeah, Gabby. Yeah, mean, he well, he was a uh, he won the title. Before me, I mean, he he beat Richard Sandoval in '86. I won the title in '88, but he he lost his title in the first defense, and then he later on he won he beat the, the he won the WBO while I was a champion. So you know we were both uh, world champions at the same time at the same weight. Wow! And yeah. would you right. have ever fought each other if it came up, or that was something you just wouldn't do? Uh, never, that's a never. Well, I mean, we sparred like we sparred a lot. Like we we sparred over a thousand rounds. I mean, in the gym, we sparred a lot. I mean, like you know, but fight fighting in you know, no, no, I respect my brother. He's he's four years older than me. I mean, I mean, he can kick my ass though. But you know, <laughs> he he has he had a, a a power. I mean, he he um he hit harder than me. I mean, he he hit hard. I mean, I, I know because I mean. Because I was, I mean, I spar a lot of times with right. him, and so I know, I know his power. So, but I never like, you know, in real fighting, I will never fight him. As as a professional fighter, what, you know, going through your first, you know, maybe ten, twelve fights, <clears throat> what did you feel was your your best attribute in those in those when you, that young as first professional career? Um. Well, I mean, like the first couple of fights, it was like you know you're just starting. I'm fighting four rounders, six rounders, and then I fought in, in my I think my 11th, 12th, or 13th fight. I I fought uh, Paul Gonzalez. Oh wow! And I lost. And yeah, it was my 12th or 13th professional fight, and uh, you know I fought. It was my first national TV, and uh, you know, uh, and I lost. It was a, a, a I lost the decision, but it was a it, that was that fight was a learning experience for me. After that fight, I didn't lose a fight for like I don't know, like I don't know about ooh, I would say it's eight, ten years, something like that. I never lost a fight again. I mean, you also fought a lot of your fights were in the fifteen round era, right? Well, my. Some of them. Well, the first, well, one, the first fight. I mean, I was one of the last ones. I mean, fifteen because I think when I fought in July, uh, no, I was probably uh, yeah, July, July, when I fought uh, Seabrooks. It was fifteen rounds, and then I think in September they changed it to twelve. That fight, that was your first world title, right? Where you won? Yes, that yes, sir. I, it was my first fight. Yeah, and I knocked him out of the fifteen round. It was a, one of the you know in the fifteen round last round. That was crazy, and you were ahead. When you're not right, I believe so. Yes, I was. I was ahead on the scorecards. Yes. From, from doing fifteen, cutting back down to twelve, which one would you prefer? Uh, twelve. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I mean, I mean, after the twelve, I mean, I was like, you just get exhausted. Not that, and even though you're in great shape, you still like. I mean, it's you know, after twelve rounds, it's like ah, uh, you just wanna. You want to you want to finish. You want to be you want to be over it. So I think you know. I mean, twelve rounds. I think you know. Be I don't know. It's I rather have twelve rounds than fifteen. Or so you you know, what in the era, right around. I'm sorry. It's okay. Right around near the end of your career, maybe. But there was a lot of great fighters that you maybe that you probably just missed out on. You know, Prince Ahmed would have been a possibility. Uh, uh, Eric Morales, Marco Antonio Barrera, even maybe Michael Carbohol. Um, is there anybody that you really wanted to fight, but you never got the chance to? Um, well, actually, it, 
not really. I mean, it's like, you know, I was, um, there were, I think it was, a, I was a little bit, there was a, they, they offered me a fight with, with uh, ba Barrera. Oh. And, but, you know, the, they wanted to be in California, but the pay wasn't, you know, good enough. So we, we declined that fight. Also, we wanted with uh, Nassim Hamed, we wanted, they wanted me to go to England, but still, I mean, still, they, you know, the, they want to pay what what I want, what I asked for. So that that fight didn't uh, didn't come through. But with those those two fights. Uh, wow. Um. And, and then we, you know, and back then, I mean, Junior Jones. I think Junior Jones was his, was a, was the champion, and then he was a WA, WBA champion. But we never like talked about uh, unifying titles. Well, you fought Junior Jones, which, by the way, was a anybody who hasn't seen it, that was a fucking that was a great fight. You and him, it was over. Yeah, well, yeah, right. But I was, you know, in another weight class. It wasn't 122. It wasn't 118. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, so, <clears throat> so, you know, that, that's great that, in a way, I mean, it's it, it, it's not great because the fans would have loved to have seen those fights against Barrera or, or Prince, but it's great in the sense that, you know, you put what you were worth and you stuck by it, you know? Um were they really obviously i'm not asking for numbers but was it were they really offering way less than you wanted or was it even close to what they were what you wanted no it was a lot less that you know it was a lot less that you know i you know, they were they were offering so i mean that's why i didn't you know we didn't take those fights and, well, i don't blame you i don't blame you yeah. um you you move you, you get in the gym these days be around do you get in the gym these days and work with kids or you just what are you What are you doing these days? Yeah, well, I mean, I uh, well, I work for the city. They, you know, they uh, they have a gym named after my brother and I. Oh, wow. and I'm the supervisor there. I run it. That's good. I run the gym and I train kids. I mean, adults and anybody who wants to, you know, uh, learn the basics or the the fundamentals of boxing, I'll teach them. And but uh, yeah, that's what I give classes or teach boxing to 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 the, the community. I mean, also, you know, I. You were inducted into the Boxing Hall of Fame, right, in 09? Yes, sir. Oof, that must have felt amazing. I I, uh, I I remember hearing that you gave a pretty good speech, you know. Th I mean, how, how did – what was that like, being inducted to the Hall of Fame? Was it really emotional? Uh, well, I mean, it's, you know, a, I mean, yeah, because, I mean, it's uh, that's the ultimate goal for any, I guess, for a world champion or any boxer that – I mean to to be recognized as you know in the Hall of Fame, and not not everybody gets to be in that stage, and and so for me it was something uh, you know, and, and by that time I was the third Texan, so the other two were head, the other two are heavyweights, so <laughs> the other two are heavyweights is George Foreman, and uh, I don't remember the other one, but it's another heavyweight from the Galveston or Houston area, and I was the third one, the third Texan, so I mean from it was it was I mean it was very emotional and. and you know, it's uh, I'm just so delighted and happy about it. What wow. was what was, a, what was your favorite part of training for a fight? What was the favorite part yeah, of training? Like, what did you enjoy more in the gym? Um, well, you know, training it it's it's hard. I mean, it and as you know, as a former fighter, you know that training it it's it's not that easy. You know, and yeah. it's not like you like to train, or, but it's something that you you have to you have to. I mean, you you have to put in the work, and uh, I you know it's not that I really like it, but I, I you know it's something that I had to do, and and I mean it's it was like a you know just a, a way of doing things, and you know, but I I mean I ran, I run, I you know I, I run six miles every day. I mean I like running. I I mean I still run once in a while, and, and I still work out and train, but. You know, but back then, uh, you know, it, the training, the sparring and everything, it was really hard. But I mean, it's, it's something that, you know, it was to be the best. You have to really train hard and, and, and to, to be able to get in shape and to be ready for a fight. So, you know, it's um, I mean, it was something like more of a not a tradition, but like a, more of a everyday thing that you do yeah. for you like me. What training for me was my job. That's what I did. So I would imagine how it felt for you at that point. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I said, so me, like, yeah, like I've been boxing since I was a baby. But when I got older, training was like a, my job. That's what I did, train. 
So I would imagine you probably felt the same way. Oh yeah, well yeah. I mean, back then I was um, <clears throat> that that was my my livelihood. I mean, that's what I did for from you know I never I, I didn't work, so that was my my job. Um, you can say that it was my my work job, my job, my work that would you know to feed my family. You know, to, I had to raise my family. So yeah, that was you know it was my job as well. So mm -hmm. that, yeah, um, my training was finishing, finishing the training. <laughs> um, Ooh. I'm sorry, Eddie. I said my favorite part of training was finishing. Oh yeah, well yeah, it was yeah training at the you know yeah the finish. Well, well one right. one thing about you, you know, people always talk about you know your footwork and your angles, but you also had an amazing you know your chin, man. I you were never stopped, right? If I'm not mistaken. Right. No. no. I mean, I, I was knocked down twice, but never, I, I got up in one of those fights, but knocked down never. I was never knocked no, down. No, no, you weren't even really hurt. Uh, who who would you say was the hardest puncher out of all the people you fought? Um, I would say um, there's two, uh, Junior Jones and Bill Refro Vasquez. Those two that, you know, they come to mind that hardest punches that, that I fought. Ah, wow. Okay. And the fight with Junior Jones, uh, you th it was really close, and you had felt that you won that fight, right? I thought I won. I mean, he was grabbing and holding a lot, but, I mean, it, it, it happens. Uh, but I thought it was a thought. It was a close fight. Yeah. yeah. No, it was. And you know, um, one thing I saw with you in that fight, and I'm curious why. It seemed maybe I'm wrong, but it seemed to me like you were you were um, brawling or you you were doing toe to toe more than usual. Is it is it is that true, or did you feel that way, or no? Uh, no, no. I mean, I just because I mean he was taller, so I mean my my you know I had to go inside and and had a different. I mean, because of his style of fighting and his height, I had to, you know, change my 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 style of fighting. Mm. Did you like doing? Did you like tra changing your style? I mean, I have to adapt. I mean, I, you you know, you you do whatever you have to do to adapt yeah, I mean, to any, whether you like it or not. I mean, it's something that you have to do. I mean, and one of the things I think, I mean, also that people don't. Some people are just, you know, uh, either you're a boxer, you're a you're a brawler, but to be able to do both, I mean, it's, I mean, nobody, I mean, or a little bit or anything, oh, cool. it's not easy, or you know, not many do that, not many boxers do that, and I think I was, I think I was able to adapt to any style. Mm -hmm. That was my God-gifted talent, I guess, to to adapt to any type of style. So that that said, any other sport you're good at? I mean, I've always, you know, when I was little, I mean, younger, around, you know, eight and nine, I, I played uh, flag football, basketball, and Little League, and, and I was good in every, in all sports. I mean, I was, I think I was good in every sport. I mean, I was, I ran fast, I mean, everything, and uh, like I said, but, you know, but because of my height, I never continued to pursue those sports because I'm only 5'5", five five, so I was in, I know I wasn't going to be, I don't make it in basketball or baseball or football, so... But boxing, you know, it's it was my my given, my you know. You ever wrestle? So, but I I, I mean I was good. In, I excel, you know, in every sport. I mean I, I was good at it. Did you ever wrestle? No. Oh. <laughs> wrestle? Yeah, wrestle. But they got no, no, never, no. no. Um, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So, <laughs> it, it is if you could choose, if you could get to fight any fighter from not just from your era, but from whenever you know, around your weight, who would you have liked to have fought? Manny Pacquiao. Really? Wow. That would have been Manny crazy. Manny. You'd have been like watching a, a tennis ball YouTube <laughs> with the angles and like the... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's... I mean, I... It, I mean, I knew it was for me it's to fight as all far. I know what, what, what... It's all mechanical. You know what? You know, you just gotta... I mean, I said... I have good reflexes. I my good ref, I mean, you know, that's very important in boxing. You, you have to have good reflexes. I mean, that's I think one of the important things. And I think I had great reflexes. So I think, you know, I would, you know, I think Pacquiao would be a, not an easy fight, but you know, I, I know I, I would have beat him because because of his style of fight. Oh really, Pac Man? Oh wow. What about somebody's right here? Julio Cesar Chavez. He's too heavy. Chavez. But, but with the weight one. Says that Chavez? Somebody wrote somebody in the comments here said Chavez, but he's too heavy. Nah, he was he was a lot heavy. He's a lot no, Don't worry about the weight. You guys weigh the same. Would you how Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I still I, I think I would still be him. Like, you know, even those those past like Sarate and Samora, those guys before my time, those band weights by time. Yeah. 
I mean, those, I mean, Chavez was also was a tough guy, but I mean, he was a brawler. He would just come forward, and, but, you know. And, Definitely that. <clears throat> but the 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 definite body. So what um your trainer who 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 was your trainer back in the day? I I couldn't find him. Well, my trainer before I started from it was Tony Ayala Senior. I started with him. Okay. And the I was in San Antonio training with the Ayala uh, Tony Ayala Senior. He was my first professional trainer. I had my first three fights was with him, and then I I moved to Houston, and and I. And then when Jesse Reed started working with me, training me back, you know, for the rest of my career. Jesse Reed, he's, I've known Jesse Reed for a long time. He's a real good guy. Yeah, Jesse Reed, yeah. He's a, he's a great guy. I mean, he's very, very positive guy. I mean, he's, you know, he's a great, he's a great man inside and outside the ring. I mean, he's, he's, he's you know, he's a great man. Do, do you, um, do you follow current boxing now? Uh, sometimes. Not, yeah. not much. Well, I mean, like I still do, but not that, not that much. I mean, there's a lot of you know guys that I really you know haven't heard of, uh, especially especially the heavyweights or from you you know from Europe, but locally here in the states or Mexico or you know South America, whatever. I mean, I'm most I'm more. I mean, I know more of them. I mean, I do follow, but not that much. Right, right. I was because I was going to ask you what fighters do you like that are fighting now. Is there anybody that stands out that you really like? Oh well, I mean, I think uh, right now, uh, uh, Bud. He's the uh, for me. He's a pound for pound. Uh, you know, you think- Bud, and then Canelo. Canelo is second, but Crawford. He's uh, you know, he's he's uh, his IQ is just like you know, over hundred percent. Like he's you know, he's really good at doing left and right and you know i mean that's what i look when when i see a fight i look at the at the reflexes and what they do and how they react to the punches and stuff like that uh, mm. and i think that crawford is my my pay my pound for pound right now put him above can- and then canelo oh wow uh, okay you, yeah. you still enjoy watching fights and going to them excuse me you still enjoy going to fights and watching them and all that Oh yeah, I I still I sometimes once in a while I watch them and, and yeah and go I, I, I like yeah I do I mean I think boxing is my like it's always been my, my life ever since I was ten years old and and still is I mean I still like I still I still work with kids and 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 the boxing and and some sometimes I watch you know and that the zone and those those fights in the zone and and PBC and you know, you know sure. uh, and Fox Sports I mean I still keep on with some of the fight, the guys that are still fighting and uh, you know I guess boxing will be in my blood till till I die. Yeah, yeah. What's your uh, what's your opinion on on the the YouTube guys we're fighting now like Jake Paul and those guys? Do you think it's a good thing? Ah uh, no, I think I think that's a joke. I mean like you know those those don't not re- I mean it's just I mean it's just like a like the- wrestling it's a comedy thing like they're just doing it for money to but really, I mean, they, they shouldn't be like, you know, it's just, you know, it's a business thing and, and it's more of a business than anything else. It's not even a sport. Right? And, but I don't, you know, I don't, I don't, Jake, I mean, I don't agree with that, but hey, but to each his own. Jake Paul needs to fight a real guy. Let somebody want to come around a little bit. Yeah. He was supposed to fight uh, Fury, Tommy Fury, who's Tyson Fury's younger brother, but. If- right, right. Yeah. But he's not Tyson Fury. He's, but he's still. Oh yeah, he's not. Yeah, you know, <laughs> Fight, fighting somebody who looks like the guy is not fighting a real guy. Yeah, well, no, it's not. Um, uh, so Orlando, do you do you tra- Would you be interested, or do you train people? Like, would you want to train any like pros, like at, at the high level? Would you ever want to do that, or have, do you? Do that? Well, right now, because you know, I'm a city employee. I mean, it's hard for me to you know to get out and and, and work with. But I mean, I, I would help him in, in any way I can, and and just like, and maybe later on when I, you know, in a couple of years when I retire, I maybe I'll, I'll do it. Uh, you know, uh, I'll get you know pro fighters and and you know and we'll work with them. But, but like I said, right now, I mean, there's a lot of people that calling me from all over the world, or several guys that they want to come to Laredo to train with me. I say, you know, I'm yeah, I'm I'm willing to help you, but but to me, for to get out and 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 travel, it, it's really hard for me to to do that right now. What it, what it, what's your job for the city? What do you do? The trainer. Like I said, I'm a supervisor. I run my marching team. Oh, that. Oh, and that's for the city. Okay. 
Yeah, it's a Zulu City. I run, there's a, a gym after my brother and I, Canisales Boxing Gym here in Laredo, and I run it. I'm the supervisor there. That's great. I'm, you know, we're, That's great. Excuse me? And you get city, you're in the union too, right? Well, I mean, it's, uh, no, it's not a union. We don't, I don't have a union. Okay. Because I'm here, like I'm in New York, and like all, all, every city job here is a union, so I, I didn't know if it's... Yeah, no, only the fire department and police department, they're in the union. Mm. But not, you know, not, not, civil, not, you know, other employees. That's no. still a great job, though, right? You must, I assume you really like it. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have benefits and everything, and, and, and I get paid well. So, I mean, I mean, for doing what I love to do, it's, I mean, it's, I mean, I can't complain. You know. did, did you ever move around with, you know, like Michael Carbajal or any of the kind of bigger names from back in when you were fighting? Anybody you sparred that would, that comes to mind, like a big name? Well, I sparred with um, Chiquita Gonzalez several times back in California. You know, remember he, he fought uh, Carbo Hall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and uh, that's the only person that I that I spar and uh, spar with. So was it was it frustrating fighting, you know, being a, a lower weight, especially back then when, like, when the lower weight guys really never got much much exposure? I'm sorry, I didn't hear your question. What was that again? Was it frustrating to be fighting at a lower weight back back in the 90s when, when guys in your weight class, you know, like they wouldn't get that much exposure? Um, well, I mean, I at that time, I didn't look at it that way. I was just like, you know, my, I would just want them to, to, to get fights and, and, and whether I get the, you know, exposure or not. I mean, for me, it wasn't really, um, it was important to me. As, as for me, it was just, you know, winning and, and you know, uh, and breaking records and here and there, and and that's really what what you know that that was my motivation to keep on winning and, and keeping my title. But I mean, the recognition comes with with you know with the territory. But but for me, I mean, I never really thought about that. But nowadays, it's like wow, they're paying a lot more than back then, and it's you know yeah. a lot more. Yeah. I mean, they, it sucks. You know, they always pay more later. It's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> I think uh, yeah. Dean might have been probably the first, right, first guy at that at a lower weight to actually start making a lot of money and get exposure. Oh, you said was that? Nassim Prince Dean. I think I think Carvajal and, and Carvajal and and, and Gonchita and Salas, they were the the ones that got a million dollars. I mean, I was getting one hundred fifty thousand, two hundred thousand a fight. I mean, it wasn't that bad back then. Are you talking about thirty, forty years ago? <laughs> but still, like what they're doing now, like what you 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 ended you you ended your career with a record of what fifty five and four, F fifty wins and five losses. Fifty, wow. and four. yeah, and uh, and and you know, almost I would yeah, say all 50, those losses, fifty were, wins and five were, losses. Some of them, were, and some of those losses weren't real losses, you know, and and every fight yeah, that you lost well, was really close. Yeah, well, I think, uh, yeah, well, four, even though I, I thought also, I also thought that I beat Wilfredo Vasquez, but, but, you know, it happens. Uh, but the, the first, yeah. I, the first, and, the, and one, the only first, the first fight ahead. that I Sorry. thought I really loved was my first one with Paul Gonzalez. I mean, that was, that was a clear loss. Okay. I mean, I, I accept that. You couldn't have beat him with two people. That was, a, that was America's hero. And the, yeah, but I beat him. I beat him in a rematch, but you know, in the first fight uh, Fish, we fought again for my title. When he, yeah, and I stopped him in the second or third round. When he came off that that Olympic gold, man, that guy was he was a poster boy for everything Latin in America. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I remember yeah, with the Vasquez fight, even even the announcers were, you know, the the unofficial scorecard. Everybody had you up in that one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, I thought I won that one. And then another one that I lost that I thought that I won also. It was in Philadelphia at the Spe uh, I think not the Spectrum. It was the I can't remember the place, uh, but it was they they don't have it. They they knocked it down. Uh, but it was a very uh, the Blue Horizon mm, right oh. in Philly. Oh man, that was that was a great place to fight. I love playing there. I fought like three or four times there. Right? I fought twice. There. It was tough. Blue Horizon. Oh yeah, it was and, like wow. <laughs> they had a small ring too. <laughs> small ring. The ring was very small. People was up on top of you, booing and cheering. On top, yeah, on top is crazy. <laughs> on top, yeah. That was a tough fight. Uh, yeah. How old were you when you retired? 
I was my last fight. I was thirty three. In nineteen eighty-eight, my last fight I fought in was nineteen ninety-eight. It was uh, with Frankie Toledo. I lost the decision, and uh, I was I was thirty-three years old. And after that, after that fight, I, I retired. Yeah, I, I was going to ask what what made you decide to retire at that point exactly. My I felt burned out. I mean, after you know twenty-three years of doing you know boxing, amateur and pro, I did it for. 15, 15 professional and, and eight amateur. So after 23 years, you know, I, I felt burned out. And I think I decided to do something else. Mm. Yeah, it makes sense. So I went back to school and, you know, and uh, got my degree, college degree. What would you get? Your uh, sociology. That's wow. great. Um, a sociology minor psychology. So yeah, I decided. You know, it was you know I had a great career. It was a time to. I mean, I was thirty three. I wasn't getting younger, so I decided to to move on. I mean, to 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 retire. That's it. That was that was a great move, man. You know, you, sometimes yeah. people box too long. Some people box too short. But, you know, I think you right at fifty fights. Same like me, I have fifty, and I'm good. You know, I'm like I'm, I'm happy with my career. I'm happy with mm. my livelihood. And I'm good. I had I had right, fight. yeah. Very happy with that one. True, <laughs> 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 I only had a yeah. pro fight, which is actually true. But yeah, <laughs> hey, Mister, yeah. hey, it was great talking to you, man. Thank you for your time and your energy. We appreciate. Oh, thank you for having me. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. We're gonna get we're gonna get you and Michael Carbajal. We're gonna we're gonna make that fight again. Well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that'll be good. <laughs> right. it was a have you. Thank you, man. Take care. Let's do it again soon. All right. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. I'm